Welcome to a new video. The Mate XS by default shipped with this exoskeleton casing that in my case, if I open it up, you can see it is getting a bit loose because it's sticked glued onto the sides and most of the sides here left and also here are sticking fine, but especially those sides are losing up. So when Huawei announced the Mate X2, they also announced a new case for the Mate XS. And this is the one that I have right here, fresh from China. And I want to unbox it and show it to you. So let's get started. So let's get the, this bad boy unwrapped. I already have here a little bit of glue removed as the sticky bit here and ah, it's very sticky and you can see that it is called the Huawei Mate XS folding case and here you can see it's Huawei certified and it is specially made for the Mate XS so let's open this up Here we go, there we go, that's the case and you can see already if I put it out here that it's a bit different. Here you can see it in its, how it should be packaged up, you can see it has this open mechanism. Here we have like also instructions on how to put it on probably. So here you can see step one step two and step three how to put it on and is there anything else and here how to get it off properly and you have some sticky bits as well probably to put it in so it's written in chinese i don't know what is written there but let's try to get this paper out of here there we go and here we have this yeah this uh, kind of case which is a bit different because it protects the device also in a much better way the back side of the device if you have it like this but to get it in here we have to take apart the old uh, exoskeleton so this is what i want to do right now let's see if i can get this quickly off here this very sticky and it is not as hard as I imagined to get it off, is it? Maybe here on the edge. It's wrapping around the device here. You can see it is like a bit loose on almost all the sides and here as well. And here we can get it off there it is so this is the old exoskeleton and you can see uh, it has managed to fulfill its purpose most of the time but i think this new skeleton is way better so where's the instructions where did i put the instructions step one is the glue stuff there is gluey stuff if we want to do it but i don't want to do it right now just want to put it in first of all so let's put it in like this and you can see the camera bump is aligning here and yeah it fits like this and of course the sticky bit is here you can see this is how it looks like now so you have this um, back protected also the back screen protected but still you can flap it open if you need it for um, selfies or like uh, the possibility to yeah, create a selfie video you can just hold it like this which is possible and yeah it fits nicely uh, here's a bit of residue still left over from the old uh, sticky bits can clean it up later of course and uh, fingerprint reader nicely exposed here works without any issues as you can see here without any issues everything is open of course here is like uh, the flippy bit for for the sticky thing 
And you can see the button is like also underneath this case. We have a Huawei branding here. Uh, pretty nice. And yeah, can I open it up is the question. Of course I can open it up. The only thing I have to do is like open this up, press the button, and then I can have it like this exposed. Of course, this has some negative things, but also some positive things. Like I can do stuff like this, for example. We have now the option to have my uh, Huawei Mate XS aligned like this, and I can uh, watch some YouTube videos, for example. Just have to make sure that the orientation sensor is working. And then I have the option to watch some YouTube videos. So I have a little stand here included as well, which is, I think, pretty nice indeed. And yeah, I think this case, the only disadvantage of the case is if you have it like open like this, then what do I do with this here? It's like holding onto the crease here. And it feels a bit weird, but still it gives a bit more grip because you can see this material. It's like a fake leather or is it real leather material? I don't know. You can tell it um, in the comment section probably. And yeah, it feels pretty nice and sturdy. And is it protecting the device? I think the back is protected pretty nicely here. It is also very, very thick here as well. Uh, the bottom, the USB port is also uh, exposed here. It is a bit thicker here as well. So you can see that if I put it like this, it should lie on this and this side. So also protecting the front display pretty nicely and you can see my front display is already like scratched uh, in the screen protector is scratched off and this feels a whole lot like a normal smartphone now because you're not touching the the back display all the time when you're holding it like this and the only thing is like you have to remember to do this when you want to open it up uh, like this and then you can hold it like this works pretty fine and yeah pretty good so far so yeah i like this um, also, this makes it like flat if I have it like this, uh, because it's like you can see how this is like folding uh, a bit like this way. I have it, and this makes it lie flat on the table, which is also I think a pretty interesting idea. Only thing that I'm missing and that the Matrix uh, Two has is like a stand here, which allows me to like use this in such a way that I can stand it like this uh, have it like this standing which is i think not possible is it no it's too too slippery here uh, uh, uh. it's working but you have i'm not very confident that this will stand pretty stable uh, you can see you have to find the right angle then probably if you have it straight down facing then probably it will hold itself here but it's not very stable here so you cannot use it pretty much um, but the good thing is like the downsides uh, I mean the, the the sides here the edges of the display especially this one here is can now be used a lot better for swipe swipe guest gestures and here as well you don't have this um, plastic rubbery uh, glue thing here which is also a little bit um, rounded so you don't have issues but you always feel this plastic which feels a little bit cheap and here you feel more like the screen directly interacting with the screen which is uh, pretty nicely done yeah uh, i'm not sure if this case is available in uh, europe already for the made access or in other markets or only in china i got mine from china so it took a little bit for shipping and uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I will glue this in here because I can just take it off if I want to, like, like this and this. And then I have a very clean device, usually clean device. Now it's a sticky glue everywhere. But yeah, this is, I think, a pretty nice case for the Mate XS. And it's great that Huawei is still thinking about its Mate XS users and giving them a nice little upgrade uh, for the casing at least and this is i think something that many people uh, would like to have to have a more like a solid uh, stable device without the back screen exposed but like i said if you need the back screen exposed you can just simply open this up and uh, yeah use this and i use usually my stuff for vlogging 
So I open it up here, go to my camera app, turn it around, and then I have here my video camera and I use it for vlogging like this. And this is still possible and even with this flap on, as the flap is holding here to the sides, I think it is giving me a little bit more grip even because I can hold it at the flap here, which is also pretty nice. Not completely at the flap, though it is possible, but holding it on the side here and giving it a better grip for vlogging, I think is also a pretty nice, uh, yeah, pretty nice option indeed. And yeah, the only downside that I can see in protect, uh, protection that is missing is the protection of the bottom and the top a little bit. But the good thing about this is also that you have more easy access to the micro SD and the uh, micro SD, the, the micros, the mini, the nano SIM. Nano SIM at the top and of course the IR blaster and so on. Uh, there were cuts out in the old one, but you can see how sticky this is and dirty. I have to clean this up. I think I like this case a lot better than the old one. And yeah, you can write down in the comment section what you think about this uh, new case for the Mate XS. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, bye.